It's my third because uh, the first one was uh, with the project of Elementary in the market. Ah, right. So it's my second time with a movie. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, okay, so we're going to do the questions in English and you can answer in Spanish if you're more comfortable. You're... Okay, okay. And Anastasia will uh, You pick any language you want. Oh, any, okay. any language. <laughs> okay. So, so Irachi was um, a graphic novel. Uh, considered uh, to be the best version of uh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, do you think it's accurate? And also, when was the first time uh, you, you read that novel and decided uh, to move forward with that project? Eh, bueno, lo hago entonces en, en español. Bueno, eh, yo realmente eh, lo que siempre he querido hacer era una película de mitología vasca, ambientada en, en la Edad Media, porque pensaba que era bueno, pues una obsesión que he tenido desde niño y siempre he pensado que era un material para eso, para hacer una película épica, ¿no? Well, I've really always been obsessed uh, with Basque uh, mythology and I've always dreamed of making uh, a film based on this material ever since I was a child. Y, y bueno, eh, en el cómic del, del ciclo de Irati, que es un cómic juvenil que, que hicieron Juan Luis Landa y, y José Muñoz, eh, contaban la historia de estos dos personajes, de Neko y Irati, pero realmente eh, la historia era muy diferente, solo que eran esos dos personajes en ese contexto con trasfondo de mitología vasca. Uh, so in the comic, uh, we it was really a children's book, and we had the two characters, Eneko and Irati, uh, and the story was about them in the context of the mythological background, and the story was really different from what I've made. Yo lo establecí en una época histórica real, como por ejemplo la batalla de Roncesvalles, la, o, o ese mundo del reino de Navarra donde eh, convivían los, los Banukasi, que son los, la, la familia, las familias musulmanas de esa zona, y los primeros cristianos, eso por un lado. Uh, so in my uh, story I have made it uh, situated in the world uh, where you had the different religions living together. So in the Navarro region you had uh, Muslim, Muslim families uh, and rivaling Christian families as well. So in this context. Y luego por otro lado mis reflexiones sobre sobre la propia mitología vasca, ¿no? Que por ejemplo centralizar la historia en el personaje de la diosa Mari, que para mí es uno de los si no el más importante de todos los personajes de la mitología vasca. And so in this context, uh, where you have the different religions that are rivaling, I put um, my own insight on Basque mythology, and my focus is really on the goddess, um, all-knowing goddess Mari. For me, she is the, the most important character. Eh, bueno, en, eh, entonces la, la historia realmente es muy diferente al cómic. Eh, es mucho más madura, adulta, y realmente la estructura narrativa es eh, muy diferente. Yes, so my story really is very different from the original comic book. It is uh, not the like. Um, so actually, can you guide us through a little bit more uh, uh, through that character of Mari, which seems a very, very central uh, character in the in the Basque mythology? Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe.